Hello guys, when using AI agents, we can quickly get used to using them for any operation. But in fact, I will show you that sometimes it's better to open the terminal to run the terminal command instead of using agents. So for example, I'm a big fan of this prompt, whether it's separately or at the end of another prompt, run test and fix errors. But if I run that, look what happens. We are waiting, it's generating with Cloud Force or Net in cursor in this case. So it is running the tests, they are passed, that is generating the answer to you whether it's successful with more like text. You don't need that text actually. It gives all that text, but actually what I wanted to do is just make sure that the tests pass. Instead, I would just open a terminal and run PHP Artisan test, or even you can make an alias to make it even quicker. And I don't need to wait for LLM and I have the answer that the tests are green. And this is not the worst part. If you're asking LLM to run terminal commands for you, it may cost you time and AI tokens. And depending on your plan, you may actually have to pay money for that. So for example, in cursor, I exceeded my $20 per month plan already. And let's see the dashboard, how much it cost for me. So here I am in my usage dashboard of cursor. And as you can see, to run those tests and to provide the answer, I will pay 11 cents. So this is just one example. Another example would be something like this. Terminal command to make Laravel model migration controller, which is resourceful. If you run that in terminal, it will execute immediately. If you run that through LLM in agents saying that you should create model migration and that structure, it will think for quite a while and it will cost you time and or money. So my point here is don't get used to using AI agents for everything. I usually have a second terminal tab opened in addition to Cloud Code, for example, or agent. And from time to time, I switch to actually manually perform some operation like we did since basically the beginning of our coding careers. So yeah, kind of a quick advice, maybe obvious for some of you, but I just don't want you guys to get too addicted to AI agents and to move further towards vibe coding. No, you're still a developer some things are totally faster and better old school without AI. What do you think? Do you have any other examples of this? What is better outside of AI agent? Let's discuss in the comments below. And subscribe to my new channel if you want to get such tips and different tips from my experimentations with AI in upcoming videos. That's it for this time and see you guys in those other videos.